Okay, I've had a few requests for this video. We're gonna talk about the Corporate Transparency Act. What it means for small business. This was something that was voted on a while ago and it comes in effect in 2024. There's this corporate government body called SINFIN, which is looking at corporate crimes. And essentially, if you have an LLC, a holding company, a C Corp, any type of business entity, you must go in 2024, I'll kind of walk you through the details, and file your name, social security number, and home address for all of the entities that you own. Now, if you don't do that, there are some extremely large penalties waiting on you. $500 per day, up to $10,000 per entity. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can go to jail for two years. Now, one of the things that I have seen since I've been operating in the corporate space for a while is that a lot of people have moved to setting up LLCs, creating LLCs. And if you have any LLC that's in your name or that you're in control of, if you're in control of it, you must file with this SINFED. Now, one of the things that is going to happen is as we go through this process, it gets somewhat complicated. It gets to the point where you must really be on top of it because here's the thing where if you have an LLC, holding company, C Corp, anything that's small business comes under this, that's owned as an individual. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts and, and consideration on this. The number of people who have started companies and started to commit crimes with these companies because the way it used to be before you had to report this, let's say, let me just give you a scenario. Let's say you lived in Paris and you wanted to form a corporation in America and you could go online, find an address, register that corporation in America, you may, there are online banks that you could set up so you can get your banking and you could literally start a corporation from Paris, do what you want, not pay taxes, run all kinds of scams, do all kinds of things. And because you're in Paris, there ain't a whole bunch of things that can do this, but here, here's where things get tricky. United States and Paris have a treaty. So if you are a citizen in Paris conducting illegal crimes in the United States, the United States can come to Paris, pick you up and bring you back to the United States and prosecute you. So that is if they know who you are. Because see, this, this whole thing with the Corporate Transparency Act, it doesn't matter if you are a Saudi in Dubai, living in Dubai and you set up some American companies. You would have to put your name, actually, that, that would get interesting because as a citizen of Saudi Arabia or living in Dubai, you don't, have a, you don't have a social security number. So what I think is gonna happen is this is gonna cause a lot of problems. Now, here's the thing. If you have a company that was formed this year, you have until the 1st of January, 2025 to fill out your form stating your name, email address, e name, social security number, and home address. Now this is something else where it gets a little complicated. Every time you move from one home address to another, guess what you have to do? You have to go back and update your report every time if you can start a new company. And also in 2024, if you start a new company, you only have 30 days to report this new company to this citizen. And th this is one of the reasons I think this is going to be a hot mess because I was talking to someone, he, he has a company, he didn't even know about it. 
So there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna get caught up in this who are unaware that this is now the law. And I don't know if they're gonna give these people a pass because, you know, ignorance of the law is no excuse. I don't know, but there's a lot of people who own corporations, LLCs, C Corps and stuff who are American citizens with a social security number. They don't even know that this is a real thing. And th these penalties, and this is something that I really, really thought about, these penalties. Why are these penalties so strong? Why are these penalties like $500 per day up to $10,000 per entity? And this gets me to thinking, there has been a ton of crime that has happened with corporations that they couldn't actually figure out who owned them. Now, right now, if you own an LLC in Wyoming, Wyoming doesn't require the owner to provide information, right? So this whole case of having a completely hidden LLC where no one could be in your business is about to disappear because these are my thoughts and they may be wrong, but this is what I'm thinking. All right. This new reporting thing is going to be a direct line into the Internal Revenue Service. It's gonna be a direct line into the Internal Revenue Service. Um, and this is gonna catch a lot of people because I'm not gonna explain how you can do it because I don't wanna you know, give people some ideals because this is about to go away. But if you know your way around corporations and how corporations work, there's a lot of fraud that could happen. There's a lot of things you can get away with right now. But once this new reporting thing comes into play, that all goes away because I, I've been thinking, you know, because I know a lot of states have you set up your corporation and you have your name on it. And I don't know if they're going to start pushing out notices to all of these people who have corporations. I, don't, I have no clue. But I do know, once again, back to these heavy, heavy penalties. These penalties that are really, really pretty. I mean, you know, you, you have a corporation and you somehow miss the deadline and you don't report it. And you're faced with five, you know, because this is the thing. This is how they're going to come at you. They're not going to come at you in the beginning. They're going to come at you when it's already 10,000 or 20,000, whatever it is. And then if you do not comply and pay this fine, you can go to jail. And th this, this is something I've been really thinking about. It's like, how much corporate crime has been happening for them to come out with such savage penalties? These penalties are no joke. They're no joke. Um, so if you're someone who's literally put your children in your corporation, <laughs> this is interesting. Your child is going to have to fill out a reform, put their social security number in their home address, even if they're a child, because they have ownership of their corporation. Like let's say you and four people sat down and four of you formed a company and each one of you own 25% of the company. Guess what? Each one of you will have to file a report for that one company. And you know, like I said, you know, this, this has got me to thinking like how much fraud has been going on that people are literally kind of freaking out at the moment, kind of freaking out, looking at the things that are happening, looking at this, because like I said, from a corporate standpoint, I don't really know anyone that's committing illegal acts, I don't, I don't know, but for them to come out with such stiff penalties, stiff penalties, it's, it's got to be a lot of stuff that's going on, a lot of stuff that's going on. So th this means that, like, let's say you own a trust, 
right? And this is a way that a lot of people got around from having ownership. Let's say you own a trust and this trust owns a holding company and this holding company has four companies in there, right? Guess what you're gonna have to do? As the owner of that trust, you're gonna have to fill out a report with your name, social security number, and home address. And have to list all of those companies that you own through this trust. And this was a way that a lot of people were able to get around having to put their name on paper, having to put their name down as the owner of record, because it's who benefits financially from this entity. And it's going to be very, very interesting because there's a lot of well-off people. There's a lot of rich people who do this and been doing this stuff for decades, been doing it for decades. So right now, the whole thing that got me like the, the extremely heavy fines, financial fines, and that whole thing with two years of going to jail, two years, if you invalidate this, don't report, they catch you. And this is where I think they're going to catch a lot of people. Once you file taxes, because this is my, once again, I may be wrong, but this is how my mind is operating on this. You file your taxes and you, let's say you have an S corp, you have a holding company, you have multiple companies in there and you're filing your taxes and you have to list your LLCs and the EIN, EIN number on your tax form. And then you submit this to the Internal Revenue Service. And I guarantee you, there's gonna be a cross-reference check for people filing taxes and they're like, oh, he owns all these companies, but he did not fill out this report over here. So, bam, it's been a while, so we're gonna hit him for $10,000 per entity. So let's say you have five companies, you could be looking at $50,000 in fines, just like that. So it's very, very interesting because now I look at what I've got to do and the stuff that I've got to report and go to SendFed, the website, and here's something that's key. I have companies, so multiple companies, but I have companies that are not actively doing business. So you don't have to report a company that's not operating. I have companies, I have an LLC, but they don't have a bank account. There's nothing happening. There's no money going to them. So I don't have to worry about them. And one of the things I'm getting ready to do is just reorganize all my stuff and literally shut some stuff down and just make it very, very simple because now I'm aware this happens. I know that every time that I move, I must go ahead and update my record. And this is, this is some, cause this is, some, this is one of those things I don't think you can play around with because it sounds kind of like harmless and not this big of a deal thing, right? But, um, I think it could be a real big deal because my thoughts are they're trying to get rid of the hidden companies. And until you had to do this, you can have a trust or a Wyoming LLC, and you can have a completely hidden company, completely hidden. No one knows what you're doing. No one has a clue, right? You have this hidden company. And I think that my personal thoughts is a business is the quickest and fastest way for a normal person to achieve some measure of financial success. I think this is an attack on this because once you start adding layers, you know, this layer, you know, getting your LLC, starting your business, doing this and all this reporting, the more layers you add, the more people do not want to correspond and do business with you. So this is going to be something that is going to be very, very interesting. But yeah, 2024 to 2025, you no longer will be able to have a hidden company. You will no longer be able to keep your name off the corporate paperwork. And once again, data hacks. Let's say the way that I understand this is the information will go to this one bureau and they're gonna sit on this information. I just don't think that's gonna be the case. I just, I, just, I don't. 
I think this corporation, this, this government, government body and the Internal Revenue Service and other law, law enforcement agencies, I think they're gonna share information. And it's just gonna be a matter of time before they get a hack and then all your stuff will be put out there in the internet, all on the space. So, you know, this it is literally for a single person operating in the United States, it's gotten to the point where you're just not going to be able to have a hidden corporation. 100% hidden, like maybe this is, maybe, maybe I'm, this is overblown. Maybe this is too much. Um, maybe it's a lot, I, I'm not sure. But once again, those penalties, these penalties are no joke. And I think a lot of people are gonna get caught up in these penalties because as I do this video, as I talk to you guys, I know for a fact there are many, many business owners who have LLCs and stuff who don't even know that this is a thing. Don't even know this is gonna happen. Uh, I mean, are they gonna put it on billboards? Are they gonna start advertising? You know, there's a lot of people who do know, uh, but there's a lot of folks who are running their business, they have no clue that this is a thing. And to me, this is where the unfairness comes. This is where things starts to get a little crazy. You're out here running your business, doing your thing. Then you go ahead and file your taxes. And the next thing you know, you're getting this letter from SinFit saying, hey, you owe us all this money. Oh, if you don't pay us, you're going to jail. And you you have not really done anything. You you, you haven't really done anything. And that that's... That's one of the things that just cracks me up. Uh, it's just really, really crazy what is happening in the world today. And for you to have a private corporation to have these protections. Now, you can still go ahead and file your LLC in Wyoming, but now you must tell big brother, the government, who you are, what you have. And you know, it, it sounds simple, but I, I have a feeling that this is gonna get complicated. This is gonna get very, very complicated because like I said, there's a bunch of people who do not know that this is a thing and they don't know the details. And yeah, so, if you are a person with an LLC, a C Corp, a partnership, any, any, any legal entity that can conduct the business and starts making money, you must put on this report your name, your social security number, and your home address. And this is something else too. With the home address thing, um, that, Right there, that gets to be kind of interesting because like, you know, you're aware, you go ahead, you fill out the information, and then 10 years in the future, you move and you forget about this. This is what I'm saying. This is gonna be a hot mess as we go forward because unless you have someone who's saying, hey, this is what you need to do. If you don't do this, you're looking at hefty financial penalties or jail time if you cannot pay these financial penalties. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And you know, my thoughts are they're trying to make it harder for the average person to go ahead and get successful through business ownership by starting to add all these layers on. That's my thoughts because I'm just sitting there like, once again, I am unaware of how much financial crime goes on. So the way I got it from going to the website and you can just put uh, the Corporate Transparency Act in Google and they'll take you where you need to go. And essentially, if you have a business right now, you don't have to worry, you, you got to file before the first of 20, 125, you know, 1st of January, 2025. So that's one of the things you have to do. Um, 
So we got that situation. And then we have other situations. So from a corporate standpoint, you know, you don't have to change your business or anything, but from a corporate standpoint, the things that are going to happen with this corporate transparency act in the future, I just think a lot of people are going to be unfairly harmed. They're going to be dramatically harmed because they're doing this and they have no clue to what's going on. That's that's my point, because, you know, I'm, I'm a nerd, so I'll just put it on my desk. Every time you do something with your corporations, you know, you have to update this form. It'll, it'll just embed this in my memory because I'm a nerd. But for the person who's not that nerdish, who can forget. And, you know, I've heard people talk about hire a company to look after this for you. OK. So you hire a company to look at for you, then you start a new corporation and you don't let this new company know. Guess what? Boom, you're riding the fire again. I mean, just this whole notion of, and I may have to do some research on financial crimes because once again, I don't operate in that space, so I don't know, but there, there's been a lot of financial crimes that had to be going on for them to do this because, or this could be part of some diabolical plot. I don't know, I really don't know. But it's getting to be very interesting because like I made some corporate moves and I'm just sitting here like, how am I going to, because essentially, and this is the thing, like if you have a holding company, you cannot just put the, well, I don't know. I don't know that because if you have a holding company that owns all these corporations, I'm thinking you're going to have to put the holding company and all of the corporations under it. I'm just, just, this is the government, right? The government's, I think that's what you're going to have to do. So there are not going to be, because essentially if you think, hey, I have a, I have a holding company and I have these companies, I'm just put the holding company there and they can look it up. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work at all. So this is, this has nothing to do with how you run your business. It has nothing to do with that at all, but it has an impact on the corporate welfare of your business. If you're not looking after the corporate welfare, because this whole thing, once again, I know I keep coming back to this, but these hefty penalties and jail time for not filling out a form online. And right now, you can't fill it out right now. You can't fill it out. You will only be able to fill it out once they make it available. And I, I just have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot more stuff that's gonna come out of here. There's gonna be many, many, many more wrinkles to the skin of the elephant. I just, just, I just don't think that this just gonna stop here. And I think it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. But yeah, if you own any type of legal entity, and I don't know if it's like, if you own a trust and the trust owns these things, it gets a little complicated, but me just thinking, if you own a trust that owns entities, you're gonna have to talk about the trust as well as the entities on this form. And I have a feeling that's gonna be on there because, um, there's a lot of people who want to keep their business private. They want to keep their name off the paperwork. They want to just run business, make money and be left alone. And this is about to end because once again, the way I understand it, this information goes to one government bureau, but I just, I just don't, I don't, I just don't think that's where it's going to stop. I think there's going to be a network where the DEA, Internal Revenue Service, all these folks are going to have access to this data. And it's just going to, you know, create a hot mess for the average person out here who's just trying to run a business. So yeah, this is what's coming. If you do not fill out this paperwork, you are facing heavy corporate fines or jail time. And once again, that, that whole jail time thing, um, you know, if they had put it out like, hey, you know, if you don't fill out this form, we're gonna hit you with a $250 fine, okay. But th these fines, 
these fines could bankrupt people. They can bankrupt people or put people in jail who really haven't done anything. You know, that, that whole notion of, because you forgot to fill out a report and we're gonna put you in jail. That is, that, that's a lot, that's a lot, but yeah. So the Corporate Transparency Act means that it's going to be impossible unless you, and once again, there's a list of the companies that are exempt from having to fill out this report, but the companies on that list, they already have to fill out like banks or a, a corporate investment pool. There, there's, there's things on there that there's so much paperwork that you have to do for these things, you don't need to be on a reporting list, but yeah. Once again, I think it's going to be very, very intriguing what is getting ready to happen in the United States of America. I think it's about to get very intriguing. So those are my thoughts and opinions. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and stuff, because once again, this whole thing with jail time and these $10,000, $50,000 fines, I'm just sitting there like, and I may do another video on corporate crimes just to see, because the corporate crimes have to be massive for them to be paying attention like they are at the moment. All right, that's all I got. And we'll see you guys in the next one.